Well, everyone, we're back here again. My old room. For the new blood, this is your first time here. You're most likely. For my OGs, welcome back. It only feels like a month since the last time we were here. Personally, it feels like three. <laughs> Even though it's only been a year. For us to end up being here, it's either something that came up in the main asylum, something came up from the other domain, and it's serious. We have another Halloween story time. Thankfully, it's the very latter. Unlike the previous years, this is taking a note from halfway Christmas for 2024. Instead, the usual supernatural or dark story. We actually get something very evil, but very hilarious. <laughs> this also had to be as of this recording the previous year's Halloween. So yeah, I managed to save up until that. Yeah, I had to take a note, write most of what was happening, and then store it in a time capsule for next year, and that time is now. So here's what happened then. One back to two years ago, post-commission in the other domain. My family decided to pass out candy and costumes since the area was running down corona protocols, but some people, including my own, have a public mask embargo for safety reasons. As ridiculous as it sounds, the whole area was pretty serious. Half the family decided to pass out candy while I had my own stash and was streaming in Madhouse Domain at the time. However, over the next few days of it, everyone fell ill. And it's bound to extend our own embargo up to the middle of this September. It ended up being that bad. For the OG viewers that remember that November, I had to take off the lava because I had laryngitis and was sick with the fever. Yes, I did check the test and it was not Corona, shockingly enough. Oh, so I thought I had that. Thankfully not. Or else worse damage would have happened, thinking back. It was still bad enough that I was bedridden for a few days and since the sparkling water I regularly drunk. felt like I was trying to drink glass at the time. It was no better for my family either. We all thankfully recovered before long, thank goodness. Fast forward to the next Halloween. I'm on camp with what turned out to be a really iffy idea. For those that trick or treat back then, remember that moderate bucket of candy or is you only take one or two pieces that some people used back then? Yeah, that was her idea to avoid getting sick during our embargo just like last time. Of course, I warned not to do with that since I doubt the kids around the neighborhood were proper if at all. And even my sis knew of them. She never trusted them even back when she was a kid. Yeah, she distrusted them that much. I repeat that this wasn't a good idea before running my Halloween stream for that year. However, unfortunately, she and the others decided to try it anyway. And if you're wondering, yes, this was likely brain fry from the cult they led. So this is what went down while I was playing Doom 93 on Halloween. They ended up getting a good few kids and families that heeded the sign and camera while they were watching. This is all up until there was a group up next. There were troublemakers and looked like it too. My folks did not see what they dressed up as somehow, but I bet that bunch dressed up as demons, thieves, ridiculously lazy costumes, and one guardian, if there was even one, dressed up as Sanyo's Kuromi. Yes, shit is that debauched. And if the guardian is a Kuromi girl, you know they're no damn good. The delinquents went to the door and find a bucket. Mom and dad had their eyes on the mirror for some good reason, and my sister was a hidden third eye the whole time. The kids decide not to listen to the sign and yell, Let's take a look at me! <laughs> this alarms everyone near the door like a pillar of fire just appeared before them. And before they tried to rush to the door, the kids all split the entire bucket in four ways before storming off and managed to split in time before dad, mom, or even my sister tried to stop them. It was too late now I learned why this was a very bad idea. Everyone was pissed off at them and it basically wrecked the entire night for them. This was only after two or three trick-or-treaters. So that was insult to injury. Later, I finally come back to the other domain, wrapping up my Doom 1993 stream, and everyone fills me in on what the hell happened and how they let some little badass kids take the entire bucket. And I also learned that the damn art doesn't even record at all. Never record none of them or we would have had them in trouble. Use was that thing then. I uh, spotted them. If you're gonna do this, let's try the old fashioned way since the embargo would have ended by then. At least none of us ended up sick as dogs like back then. 
Well, this year, hoping nothing rash like that happens again. This is exactly round real what my folks did so that no little kids dressing like thieves and demons taking their characters too literal again. And there we go. This is one of the more sillier Halloween stories I had to do with as of recent memory. Despite the tone. Hopefully that was an enjoyable break for the more serious pain that I normally share for these stories. Many thanks again as always everyone. Hope this Halloween turns out better for me and you guys. With all that said and done, wish you guys a happy Halloween. May this one be a safe and fun one. And free of swindlers. Unlike those last two. May I get what's coming to them. No, not just in Minecraft, in all domains. Even the nether would be too merciful for them. And for, for everyone else, happy Halloween, everyone. May this one treat us well.